Today I'm opening up a $250 Smy World, as they call it, a double value mystery box. You heard that right. Double value, what is this about? This video was brought to you by the WhatNot app. Download the free WhatNot app today and participate in live auctions from your smart device. You can buy Funko Pops auction style, Silver Age and Golden Age comics. There's Pokemon cards, pack breaks, and box breaks. You can have sports cards ripped for you live that you purchase. Download the WhatNot app today and participate in live auctions on the WhatNot app. This says guaranteed double value. Only 10 boxes were made, $250, only 10 boxes. What it said, it says, after almost four years in business, we have started to run out of space as much as we have tried to manage it. Tonight, which was like, what is it, early or mid-February? Tonight, not tonight, but we're doing an anything goes double value box, much like the kitchen sink, to free up some room. There will be three different tiered prices. So the tiers were 250, 125, and 75. I got one 250 box for a sold out. I got one 125 box for a sold out. And I bought a total of four $75 boxes. I haven't received the 125 or the $75 yet as of today, February 18th, the day of recording this video. Yes, we will be using overstock, hence the double value, but there will be a lot of random gems and grails in these boxes. This isn't anything goes box. It can include some damaged stuff, designer toys, pops, customs, prototypes, and other Funko products are all fair game. It's the kitchen sink. It could be anything. Heck, you might even find a box of baseball cards in here for all we know. It says there will definitely be some top boxes worth more than double value. So they don't put the actual top valued box. But this was $250, you're guaranteed at least $500. Some top box will be worth over the $500. It says all designer toys will be valued at the retail value. I bought the Smy World Kitchen Sink Mystery Boxes before, and the designer toys usually sell pretty well. I always sell those in my WhatNot Live auctions. If you have not already, go down below, click the WhatNot link. Download the app. It's totally free. You can buy and sell collectibles. Make sure you follow me on there. Franchise kicks all one word. Your very first purchase, if you use my link down below, you'll save $10. So make sure you check out the WhatNot app. It says Funko products will use PPG values. Customs will use initial listed prices value. Shipping will be a little higher on these boxes because the boxes are bigger. And it says please take into account there could be duplicates, but only have one of these boxes. So there's no risk of duplicates. So the customs will use the initial listed prices value. If it's a custom, something like crazy nice, that could be a huge hit in that box. It says, do not buy this box if you do not en enjoy designer toys or toys other than Funko. Of course, I'm buying this box merely to have a YouTube mystery box unboxing. I honestly don't care if it's pops, designer, designer toys, or freaking sports cards. This is all a mystery box to me. I'm cool with anything that I get. It says most of the pops are mint, but considering some are older and vaulted, there might have some minor shelf wear or minor blemishes, but this is not a damaged mystery box. Any major damage will not be included in this box. You ready to do this? Who knows what I'll get. Maybe a first edition Charizard or something, but probably not. Here we go. The Smy World $250 double value kitchen sink mystery box of who knows what. So for the the, the uh, designer toys, I'll look at values on those probably on eBay or something just to try to find those values. Because I don't know designer toy values off the top of my head. I have no, no clue. Here we go. Bubble wrap. Feel around a little bit. Which ones are pop? I think that one's a pop right here. Yeah. And this one, I don't know what this is. Pull it out first. Looks like first one is going to be some kind of a designer toy. This says a little sank. I know Pop King Paul, I think he buys, let me put this thing down so I can see a little bit better. I think Pop King Paul collects these little sanks. At least, at least he did, I think at one point. I think it was him I was talking to about designer toys in the past. We have little accessories or is it broken 
I don't know. Okay. We have this creature right here. Oh, I guess that thing goes in there. They have a little another attachment. This oh, a little gun for him. Okay, so this is a little sank. Is it cool? Is it valuable? I have no idea. In the video, I'll go back through, try to find some prices on this stuff. But Little Sank, this one's called Little Sank Lonely Together. I have no clue value. Some of the designer toys can be pretty valuable at times, especially uh, the ones that are like limited number pieces. Some I've looked up are crazy expensive, but yeah, the Little Sank, I do not know. I don't know value of these things. Here we go. Next item, first item. It might be a home run right there. It might be worth like a hundred bucks. I have no idea. Here we go. Next item. Let's see. Let's do this one. Is this a Funko? No, this is not a Funko. We have a Tech 63 Cuncat. No way out. This is still a factory sealed box also. So I do not want to open this thing up. Looks like it is a collaboration between a few companies it looks like. But a Tech 63. Is that good? I've had Tech 63 before actually from the Smile World mystery boxes. I think it's sold okay. I vaguely remember. So what's left in here? I think it's like three Funko Pops. There you go. First one. The back says Diesel. We have Diesel. Just a common Funko Pop. They have a value on it. It says of $12. Just a common Funko of Kevin Nash Diesel. Common Pop. Nothing crazy value. Nothing crazy yet. Let's see. We got packaging everywhere. One Pop. This pop might be in a hard stack. No, it's not. They're all just bubble wrapped, okay? Next pop. The back says Fast and Furious. We have Dom Toretto. Fast and Furious. This is a 2021 pop, so a much newer pop. Probably not crazy valuable, I'm guessing. Probably not much more like what maybe ten dollars or so ish. So the two pops here I've guess are probably like twenty two, twenty five dollars. We have like one item left. That's it. Hopefully something really good. Last thing. Back says Spider Man Miles Morales. Spider Man Miles Classic Suit. That's not very viable, is it? Twenty twenty. So these Funkos, I don't think, aren't worth very much money. That is all that's in the box. That's it. $250, I'm guessing. These designer toys must be like crazy expensive or something because these aren't worth much. Let's see PPG values of these first, then we'll go look at eBay values for those items. First pop, we got Diesel. And he's coming in PPG at only nine bucks. They have a twelve dollars, but it's only coming in at nine dollars. Price probably fluctuated on him since they boxed this up. Pot number two, we got Spider-Man Miles Morales. He's coming in at eight dollars. And pot number three, Fast and Furious Dom Toretto. He's coming in at twelve dollars. So the three Funko Pops combined value is only twenty nine dollars. So this was a double value mystery box so with $29 I paid $250 it's supposed to be worth $500 right let me actually check the tracking number let me make sure this one was the $250 and it wasn't like the $125 box let me just make sure now looking at my order history order number 46168 matches the barcode it was $250 double value mystery box so Pretty much, these two things have to be worth almost $500 combined. Is it? Are these worth that much? I hope so. Let's find out. I've been looking for quite a while. I can't find this colorway of this item on eBay. I've been looking, honestly, for, for like 10 minutes now, and I can't find it. I've seen like the same little saint, but different colorways. Some are super limited. Some are gold. 
I see it all waved from 40 bucks to like 200. So right now I have no idea what this thing is worth. I'll try to research this more down below and I'll try to update maybe what this thing's worth because I have no idea. I cannot find it and I've been looking just on my phone. I'm going to do some more research. Might have to even like hit up some people and say, hey, what is this? How much is it worth? Because I can't find it. So I'll update down below if I find the value. Let's do the next thing. Looking on eBay in the past 90 days, only one of this thing has sold. It sold for $85 best offer. I can't actually see what it sold for. But looking right now, listings, people have it as low as $85 buy it now and as high as like $125 buy it now. This one's still factory sealed, so it's worth between $85 to $125. Even this one with those, like the value is like $150. This is supposed to be a double value mystery box, so double value means it's worth $500, right? So that means this thing has to be worth like $350 at least in that range. Is it worth that much? I have no idea. I'm going to do quite a bit of research to try to figure out. So looking at the original listing, they said all designer toys will be set at retail value. So I got to figure out what the retail value is of these two together. But these pops only worth 29 bucks. I mean, these have to be worth pretty much like $475 and have a double value mystery box. Are these really like $475 retail value? That seems incredibly high, but I also do not know the designer toy market. I don't know it. So uh, I got to do some research, find out how did I do or did I lose a bunch of money or did this not meet the double guaranteed value? Uh, hopefully I'll be able to update down below, but if not, maybe people at home can help me. <laughs> I don't know. Did I do good? Did I do bad? No clue. This video was brought to you by the WhatNot app. Download the free WhatNot app today and participate in live auctions from your smart device. You can buy Funko Pops auction style, Silver Rage and Golden Age comics. There's Pokemon cards, pack breaks, and box breaks. You can have sports cards ripped for you live that you purchase. Download the WhatNot app today and participate in live auctions on the WhatNot app.